Hi, this is uh, Mitchell Humphreys from the uh, Mayo Clinic in Arizona. Today I would like to spend a little bit of time talking about natural orifice transluminal endoscopic uh, surgical procedures or NOTES procedures. This is a type of uh, new surgery that utilizes a patient's own natural orifices such as the mouth, anus, and other ways of doing surgery that conventionally would be done with incisions. We do it in these ways to save the patient from incisions, hopefully to save patients from uh, bleeding, uh, pain, and get them back to their activities uh, in a quicker fashion. The evolution of the process here started several years ago with uh, concerted research efforts with us and several other teams to look at ways of removing disease without making incisions. We focused our attention initially on prostate and prostate cancer as it's so common in the male population. What we do in these procedures is we use the urethra as the natural orifice and do the entire surgery through the urethra with no need for incisions. What this allows us to do is to remove the prostate and through the development of some very specialized uh, instruments we're able to reattach the bladder to the urethra to maintain the continuity of the urinary system. The work that we've done represents a culmination of two and a half years of effort between us and researchers um, in Rochester, New York, led by Dr. Jude Sauer, as well as in Indianapolis by Dr. Lingaman, but we've been able to complete the first procedure here at Mayo Clinic, Arizona. The first patient that we were able to do recently, we were able to remove the entire prostate, the entire cancer, and reattach the bladder to the urethra all through the urethra with no need for incisions. The patient has done wonderfully. He left the hospital in uh, one day. He had his Foley out very quickly and has done great since that time. This new procedure and access techniques allows us to approach disease in a completely novel way that nobody's ever thought about. This is making what people thought as only a pipe dream a reality and changes the way not only we look at disease, but also in the way that we do surgery.